right. Hi, I'm Laura Williams. I'm part of the research team from James Madison University. Um, we did a research study that related to test taking effort in personal consequences in a low stakes testing environment. So our study looked at um, students in three different testing conditions. Um, the first one was looking at students in just a institutional condition, which we told students that their scores would be used in the aggregate um, for institutional decisions. Our next increasing consequence condition was the same instructions, but we just told students that they would then also be able to see their scores after the testing session. And our final um, highest personal consequence condition had those previous two conditions, and then it also added the um, consequence of faculty being able to see the scores as well. So what we found in this study was that it actually didn't make a difference in terms of student performance. As you can see from the graph here, this top line indicates student performance. It's on a scale of 0 to 66, 66 being the high score. The average score across conditions was right around 46. Um, this second right here, this shows student effort in all of the conditions. This scale goes from 5 to 25, 5 being um, they didn't try at all. 25 being they tried the hardest they possibly could. We found an average of about 19 across all three conditions. So um, the major finding here was that, um, as you can see, increasing personal consequences did not affect student performance, but we actually, this is what we were hoping to find. Because if we see a differential performance across um, personal consequence conditions, that really would make us question the validity of these results because these results are part of our institutional assessment and they really are used for institutional decision making about our, our general education program. So if we were going to see some differences here, that would be a big problem for us because we'd really have to question um, the decisions that we're making. The other piece that we looked at here was um, if we saw anything in predictive terms of performance, in terms of student effort, and then we also looked at conscientiousness because there's been research that shows personality does influence things like um, achievement and performance. But what we found here was that conscientiousness um, actually did not affect and was not a predictor of performance in this situation. Effort was really the only uh, significant predictor in our study. Um, we did after we kind of sat down and thought about it though, conscientiousness is really kind of a detail-oriented construct. So performance on one test shouldn't be affected by that. A lot of the other literature that's been done has been looking at more like success, college success, that kind of thing. And so um, that, that includes more things than just one test. And so it would really uh, be more affected by conscientiousness than just one situation like our study looked at.